Yes, yes. Senator Fulbright, uh, we wanted to ask you about the Fulbright Act, uh, which, of course, you're very famous for, signed by President Truman in 1946. Could you give us some background on this piece of legislation? Well, of course, I think that's a, that, that, that is my principal interest today. I still follow that carefully and go to many meetings about it and so on. Uh, first place, I think this kind of an activity strengthens the possibility, at least, that a thing like the United Nations might work. You get people in various countries, especially the important countries, that have an effect upon policy, and if you get people who know uh, other cultures, the other countries you're dealing with, they're much more likely to understand them and to be uh, possible to make the kind of adjustments and compromises and so on that is the essence of politics. Yes. International relations. So I... Uh, I got to thinking about this. When they dropped atomic bombs on Japan in August of, uh, of, of uh, 45, if you remember. Yes. In, uh, they, that was a great uh, shock to people. And when we heard about uh, the effects of that, and we had uh, hearings with Mr. Oppenheimer and uh, some of his colleagues that had developed it uh, testified about it. Einstein made very, very, very pointed remarks about now everything's changed except our manner of thinking and so on. So it occurred to me that this was a good, good uh, opportunity there to do something about it, and a bill for the disposal of foreign, of, of uh, surplus property that is left over after the war was brought before the the Senate in September of, of 45. This bill uh, was for the disposal of all the leftover trucks and food and, and clothing and what have you, communications around the world that had been involved in the war. And they, they proposed to dispose of it, and uh, most of the countries we did business with, I mean, the, the, our allies in Europe didn't have any money. They were broke. Yes. They're, and so we took, uh, we took just an IOU, so to speak, that was not convertible into dollars for it. I proposed, the thought came to me that this would be a good opportunity to use such credits for the purpose of promoting... Uh, these exchanges, which I thought might, uh, in, law, in the due time, over the long period, uh, develop people who would be more inclined to make something like the United Nations work. In other words, that they would be more inclined to be tolerant and to accept uh, different cultures and not be so, so, uh, well, so chauvinistic about their own country. To give them a, a, a view of other people's the way their customs and how they live and so on, and I thought they would find that these people are not as different as we think. I mean, it, it grew out of my own experience, I'm sure, in Oxford. Yes. Uh, that uh, when you get to know these people, they're not quite like you. You read about them. They are people very much like ourselves. And that it was possible to create an attitude on their part that would make uh, make for better international relations and hopefully to avoid uh, another war, a kind of war we just had. Yes, yes. That's a pretty uh, superficial thing, but I don't know what we can go into it in, on a, on, under these circumstances. No, I think that was, that's the thrust of it, and I thought it would promote inter, better international relations. Of course, I used the vehicle of education and so on as a way to do that. Yes, yes. I think that's a good summary of it, uh, Senator Fulbright. Uh,